Estaré aquí toda la noche. ¡Ey! ¡Cuidado, niños! So average 70 FPS under DirectX 11 and you can see the max frame time was about 22 ms milliseconds and it's staying under 20 for the majority of the benchmark. So you can even see it's 7. This is where it renders the, I'm pretty sure it's the big island or down into the crowd in the last scene. Yeah, down, down at the village. So, yeah, not bad. And here, if we look at the CPU clock speed, it's holding stable. And that dip would have been when the benchmark ended. 9.03, a minute ago, yeah. But you can see it's holding, holding stable with the game running in DirectX 11. Um, and it's only fluctuating now that I'm out at desktop. So, stable at DirectX 11. But the FPS, um, just take note here. The minimum maximum average. Like, about 43. 43? 43, 44. Average so 43, 44, 62, 72. 
what we want to look at, and then it gets the average from that, so 70. Okay, so now I'm going to subtract it 12, and we'll see what happens. You can see the API here, right next to all. And exactly the same settings, I haven't changed anything else. Boost the full screen. All maps. This is CPU doing. You see that? Look, the clock speed's dropping. That's just weird. And the frame latency sucks, but the FPS is not bad. Doing it again. And it, it was rock stable in DirectX 11. So I don't know why it's dropping the 1600 megahertz. You can see it in the graph. It's just like I can literally see the micro stutter, and I'm recording um, with RAID SSD, so it's not anything to do with the NVIDIA recording. This last scene was so bad. In the very first scene, I could notice my concern. It's a tiny little bit here, but almost imperceptible. But look at this new uh, CPU possible. It's just uh, running away. So yeah, I did benchmarks back back in September, and uh, now it's December, and there were like there's been around five um, patches, and they mentioned stability and stuff like that, but they, it looks like they haven't addressed this yet. Um, but you can see here, look, 
but the minimum FPS is higher. Well, according to mine, it drops, but that, that also happens. Uh, you'd have to go back through the video, but um, it drops the minimum when it's switching scenes. So that's not reliable, the minimum on MSI Afterburner. But according to this, like it was 43 on the same setting in DirectX 11. 40 th around 43 minimum and 70 average. And now we're getting, apparently, uh, 74 average. So it, it seems to take a combination of the average here and the 95% to get the average FPS. But yeah, really, really strange. See here that the uh, frame latency is showing lower in their own in their own um, graph, but I saw it hitting 30, like up up in the 20s and 30s throughout the video um, on on MSI Afterburner. So I don't know, maybe Afterburner is doing it, but it's just weird that we do it in DirectX 12 and not DirectX 11 if Afterburner was. So if we go out here, you can see like how many minutes ago since I started the benchmark, 907, it's been dropping as low as 1600 megahertz. I don't know. Make of it what you will. Um, I might try doing a run with Reva Tuner off, so there'll be no overlay. But then the problem is I can't actually record. <laughs> I can't record the frame latency externally um, without Reva Tuner running. Like I can't get a good reading on it. So if it was showing high frame latency, I wouldn't know it. Um, and turning the overlay off just to not have it off rendered on the screen, I don't think that'll make a difference. So you can see the frame time down here. It was showing back at 9.07 when I started the benchmark, 45, and for the majority, if I go through here, look, it's up in the 20s um, throughout the benchmark, but then on their own graph, uh, I, don't, I don't know. The game's frozen. Oh, the game crashed. On their own graph, you could see that it was showing under 20, so that was just really strange. Anyway, I'm just sharing this with you guys because um, someone brought it to my attention uh, watching my Tomb Raider in DirectX 12 gameplay video and they said, why is the CPU clock fluctuating? And I went through back through the benchmarks because I don't remember it doing that and it wasn't doing it in DirectX 11 and it's DirectX 12 causing it. So yeah, maybe um, someone has gotten to the bottom of this and sees this video might be able to provide some insight. Or I'll just keep troubleshooting and try to figure it out. I think it's a DirectX 12 API issue because it was even hitting 100% every on all cores every time it switched scenes, and it wasn't doing that in DirectX 11. So really weird. Okay, and yeah, the the GPU is running stock, so I don't think there's any stability issues uh, causing it. The temps were great. Um, GPU temp was never breached 60, and the CPU temp also stayed under 60 max 62 oh, you can see the max is here 56 on the GPU and the GPU core clock was also fairly stable it was just the CPU clock that was fluctuating anyways um thanks for watching guys see ya